Confirm. Lady <laughs> Gaga and Magog were released long ago. Are you following me? Well, I. Baby, you can call me a Superman. Chuchu tell Tata Gani Taku Kama. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Longo back with another reaction video. I feel so energetic, energetic right now. I don't even understand. But yeah, if you're new to this channel, like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. Make sure to like, share, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. So today, I'm going to be um, reacting to when no one does hatch, a sign of the end. So I'm really excited to be reacting to, to, to these days' um, videos because it's like they're waking you up. It's like they're making you aware just in case you've been sleeping. It's just always a reminder for me that we have to look into ourselves so yeah um other than just doing reactions we also have other things that we do you can check them out and just enjoy and thank you to everyone that's been supporting us on both channels and the other things that we do we really 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 appreciate and without wasting time let's get into the video I love you Allah It is in Sahih Bukhari Let to Hajjanna al-Bayt Let you Hajjanna al-Bayt Wa la yu'tamaranna The people will continue To make the Hajj To the house of Allah and people will continue to perform the Umrah to the house of Allah, the Kaaba. Ba'da khuruj ya'juj wa ma'juj Even after Gog and Magog have been released. And then the Hadith goes on to say, La taqumu sa'atu hatta la yuhajjah That the last day would not come until the Hajj has been abandoned. This hadith is in Sahih Bukhari. Let me repeat it. People will continue to perform the Hajj and the Umrah even after the release of Gog and Magog. But the last day would not come until the Hajj has been abandoned. And so when that day comes that the Hajj is abandoned, it will confirm <laughs> that Gog and Magog were released long ago. Are you following me? Well, I am anticipating that the abandonment of the Hajj will take place. All right, let me ask you when. What event is likely to take place? Which will cause the abandonment of the Hajj. Huh? The big war, correct. When Israel wages her big war, which will witness the dramatic territorial expansion of the state, and then a concomitant. Concomitant means taking place at the same time. A concomitant attack on the US dollar and it collapses and all the paper money in the world collapse and the US economy collapses and then Israel replaces the United States as the ruling state in the world. That big war is likely to inflame the passions of the Muslims around the world to such a fever pitch that the Saudi government cannot allow the Hajj to take place because such a Hajj would likely threaten the foundations of the Saudi state. And so they might use some cock and bull story about some virus which is a great danger to health and so and get World Health Organization to issue an advisory so, and then they suspend the Hajj 
and then the next year they continue the suspension until eventually the Hajj is abandoned. Hmm? And so this event could be around the corner. The abandonment of the Hajj which has been which has been held for the last few thousand years. I guess governments are always doing the most. I don't even know what to say exactly. Um, but I think now the world is walked to, 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 know, to know that the government does the most. There's always something always going on in the world for one reason or another. But then stop doing people from what they want because it's a threat to them then then there's a problem there's always a way you can do with matters but at the end of the day that's why i keep saying in my videos we shouldn't forget who we are just because mass gatherings can't take place it doesn't mean we can't do these things from the comforts of our home we can do it within our houses and some countries are actually allowing at least a number of, I think, 50 people to gather somewhere. And some people have at least an hour to do what they have to do if they want to gather in big numbers. So, so we'll see. <laughs> I, really, I really want to see how this virus thing is really going to play out because there's so much theories. Oh, there's so much talk about it but no solution in sight yet so um i mean it's really affecting i think the american once the american economy is affected the rest of the world seems to be affected as well so oof. It's, something, it's really something to think about, but why come up with a virus which affects the economy, which then affects the rest of the country? At the end of the day, again, I just think these are politics to some extent. Politics, and they're just distracting us. Distracting us from what we should be focusing on. Why can't we focus on our faith? Why can't we focus on praying? Why can't we focus on other things? Why can't we focus on improving ourselves, bettering ourselves? Why can't we focus on curbing this anger issue that's in the world? I mean, it only takes a few people to come together and say, you know what, let's solve this problem. But no one has ever come forth to do that. Although this virus has come about and they expect everyone to just cooperate. I mean, it's really something to think about. Otherwise, whatever the case is, we should look at the bright things. We should look at the good part of things let's look at on the let's focus on the brighter side of things even if we can't gather in big numbers we can gather as families or one or two people or five people whatever the case is in your household you can do whatever you want to do there's no limit to that at the end of the day do what you want don't forget don't forget the don't forget to thank god don't forget to do right by God. At the end of the day, we should stay safe, abide by, I guess, the laws, because now they're even sending you to jail if you go against them. So just stay safe, wash your hands, eat healthy food, take care of yourselves, exercise, just take time to improve yourself in this period. Don't let something like this distract us from what was supposed to do or what would have been doing had the virus been there or not been there so yeah let me know how you feel about this um video and i know some some of you want to go deep into this and we uh, welcome your comments let us know what you think about this particular video and the message it's saying or what the narrator was saying let me know what you, you really really think like your thoughts on this 
yes the video is there but what are your thoughts on this video your commentary so yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video